Hey folks, so uh, it is day four of the seven day mindset challenge and uh, congratulations on making it to day four because I know sometimes how hard these seven day challenges can be in terms of like making sure that you turn up to every single one of them. Um, but I've tried to make them simple so it's just a quick sort of 10 minute video and a worksheet to do and um, uh, a bit of quick bit of feedback into the Facebook group. But the idea is that hopefully you'll get something out of at least one of the seven days, if not more of them. Um, that's why this one isn't, it's not like I'm telling a story this over the seven days. This particular seven day challenge is about seven different mindset techniques that potentially you can introduce into your business in order for you to fear your business slightly less. Um, so today's challenge, say, uh, today's challenge, today's topic is um, basically about how time has an impact on our thinking when it comes to our businesses. So imagine that you're selling a product, and again, a number of you will have seen this already, but it's not a bad thing to necessarily go over some things. So imagine that this is the average month. And re remember, we talked about um, uh, our goals and setting a goal and what that looks like. So say, for example, if we had a very simple goal, which was to get one client per month. Nice and simple. Now, imagine that you get that one client on day one of the month. How are you going to feel? And the answer to that is probably, yeah, you're really excited. Um, if your goal is to only get one client a month, that means that you're really well funded, that um, you're, um, uh, you can pay your bills, you can pay any staff outsourcing, got some money for, the, for HMRC, for VAT. There's all sorts of different things going on there that are, are potentially very, very positive for you. So um, what happens then if you get to 4.59 on day 29 of the month? And what I mean by that is, so we started off on day one and we've come up to day 29, but day 29, we still haven't found that elusive client that we need to get for the month. Uh, probably what's happening is at this point you're starting to panic. There's, oh gosh, are we going to get them here? We're going to have to pay our staff. We've got bills to pay. We've got a VAT, you know, coming out in 10 days time. You know, and we're starting to panic. Now, what is the difference between getting a client, bearing in mind your goal is to get one client per month. What is the difference between getting a client on day one and day 29? So like imagine five o'clock on day 29, client pays up. Yeah, let's go. There's actually no difference at all between the two results because each of those results is still getting one client a month. It's just that here it happened very quickly. Here you had to go through a load of no's. Remember yesterday's day three was 70, 10, 2, 68 no's for every two yeses. So we've had to go through all of that process of getting no's throughout the month in order to get to our one yes. And what happens though is the mind starts telling ourselves stories about... Um, you know, this, oh, you've got bills to pay and panic and blah, blah, blah. What's the worst case scenario is that if we don't get a client that month, worst case scenario is we're going to be down a bit in terms of cash. Now, if that's happening regularly, then there is a problem. But again, if you know your business inside and out and 70, 10, 2 works and you know your numbers, this shouldn't be a problem. This time period in between not getting clients shouldn't be a problem because we know we've set out our goal. We know our, our numbers within our business, 7 to 10 to. We told ourselves our positive affirmations that we have got all of these clients. So we will get a client. You will get your clients. You shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, it come, what it comes down to, though, is the three pillars, core pillars again. So those are delivery. So once we've sold our products, actually delivering them, that's the thing where we get paid and puts food on the table. The second core pillar is sales. So we need to sell our products and services in order to then be able to deliver them, in order to then get paid. But the third core pillar then is marketing. And it's marketing which leads to say, um, sales conversations, which then leads to delivery. But marketing is the bit where everybody, um, there's just this element of like, we don't know. I don't know. We can't predict where the next client is going to come from. And the reason for that is basically people are unpredictable. That client who ended up buying on day 29 probably would have bought on day one, but I don't know, They something happened. Maybe they're away on holiday. Maybe they went shopping and didn't have the money until payday. Maybe they um, their car broke down. 
um, maybe um, their kid was poorly for a week with chicken pox, you know? So there's a whole load of stuff going on here, not just for you and your business, but then if you then put your client into this picture, that um, all of a sudden everything becomes very, very unpredictable. So, um, yeah. So basically just look at how time has an impact on your business and how it relates to things like sales and marketing and delivery and, and whatnot. And also we've got this thing about if we take a client on here, we've also got to um, get to a point then whereby we can deliver their product or service. And again, there's this anx anxious kind of moment where the client said yes, but they haven't paid yet. Oh no. And then we have this worry that they're, they're gonna pay. Now, again, there's always an element of failure even when we feel like we close the deal, clients still can say no. They still can walk away from that deal. And that's fine. Every business has this inherent like level of failure built into it. So it's fine if clients don't buy now. It's fine if clients say yes now and no further down the line. Or say no now and then yes further down the line. But what happens in between times is called time. And it's during this downtime that we start to tell ourselves stories and panic and, you know, um, we, we almost set unrealistic expectations for ourselves. So it might be that we think, yeah, we've launched this fantastic new product and, oh, nobody's buying it, nobody's buying it. And then all of a sudden, like, loads of people buy it. Um, but whilst nobody's buying it, we've got nothing to validate our product or service. So that's just one thing which I want you to think about. Um, is how time impacts the various th um, parts of the three uh, pillars, can't even get my words out, the three core pillars of your business, so marketing, sales and delivery, and what happens in between periods, basically. So we do a load of marketing, then we've got to wait for sales, and then we've got to wait to deliver the product, and then we've got to wait to get paid. There's time in between all of those, where um, mindset-wise, our, 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 our brain starts to tell us these various stories, and starts to introduce fear, oh, are we going to get paid? Ah. Um, so, uh, go and download the worksheet. Um, make sure that you uh, follow up by putting your comments into the uh, uh, into the comments box in the Facebook Live video, and then um, I will catch up for you uh, with you for day five tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to day five. It's a really cool tool, um, which I've told a few of you about. A few of you may not have heard it yet. So, uh, day five is um, called the minibus. So I'm going to be telling you about the minibus tomorrow. Take care.